Time for Medical Monday. Dr. Heather Stefaniak with Baycare Clinic here to talk about something truly unique using Botox to help with overactive bladder. So let's start off. What is overactive bladder? Overactive bladder essentially is the bladder is a muscle mm -hmm. and sometimes it can, tr can contract when it shouldn't. So mm -hmm. what can, people can experience is a sudden urge to urinate. Sometimes that leads to urine that uh, is expelled when it shouldn't be. Mm -hmm. um, so it's essentially an urgency, a frequency, and sometimes incontinence because of that. Is there anybody who's maybe more susceptible to this? Um, more common in women, yeah. um, but men can definitely deal with it as well. Okay. Um, people that drink coffee and caffeinated beverages and mm -hmm. things like that, that's a bladder irritant, and those people can definitely have more urgency and frequency. Absolutely. Um, sometimes medications can cause oh, more urgency okay. and frequency. So lots of people can have this symptom. Definitely. Okay. So Botox. We all yeah. know Botox. We always think face and, you know, no wrinkles and things like that. Sure. How did you decide or how did you learn to use this for overactive bladder? Well, um... Botox has been used in the bladder for many, many years mm -hmm. for people with neurologic type issues. So, okay. um, uh, MS or spinal cord injuries, right. um, people use MS in the bladder to calm the bladder down. Um, 2013, it was approved for people that do not have a neurologic condition but still have overactive bladder. Um, so we've been using it in the office mm -hmm. um, for the last few years and it's been pretty amazing. Um, so the bladder itself, as I said earlier, is one big muscle. Right. So the concept is just numbing that muscle, not to the point of not being able to urinate, sure. but enough that there isn't urgency and frequency and leakage. How, how do you do it? I mean, what is the treatment like? Um, Usually people sh should expect, I mean, there's typically a workup. I mean, it's mm -hmm. not someone's just walking in saying, right. I want Botox. But right. um, if they've failed other medical therapies, we do a workup. And the procedure itself typically involves um, the day of, they give us a urine to make sure there's no infection. Mm -hmm. um, we essentially put a little numbing medication in their gotcha. bladder. Okay. Um, so they don't feel the procedure as much. But right. my the active part of doing the procedure is a scope. Um, I do 15 to 20 little pokes throughout the bladder. Mm -hmm. Um, and people may feel a little pressure during that, but the whole procedure itself is about two minutes. Oh my goodness. Um, then we make sure they can urinate at the end of the um, procedure and go home. So it's an in-office there for an hour. Mm -hmm. um, typically it starts kicking in within about a week or so. Okay. Um, and the hope is that they're not in pads, they don't need to take medication for their bladder, right. um, and have very, I've had some very happy patients. And, very you know, and cool. we can have people giving us hugs and crying in the office. It's and awesome. that's exactly what you like to see, positive results. Definitely. Awesome. Thanks so much Definitely. for being with us, doctor. For more information about using Botox to treat overactive bladder, just visit our website and click on the Wisconsin Tonight tab. Oh, there are so